please subscribe the channel for daily exclusive Reddit content, and don't forget to like and comment. Today's story, my ex-wife, wants me to be with her in her last days. I met my ex, when we were both 10. She was, is, my twin sister's best friend, so we've always been kind of a trio growing up. We started dating at 14, and got married at 23. Thing got ugly though cause 5 years after getting married, she told me she had a month long affair with her coworker. Apparently the guilt was too much for her, so she confessed. We tried to work through it, but after a few months of trying, I knew that despite the fact that I loved her I couldn't trust her anymore. She told me she still loved me, and that she'd wait for me, and prove that I was the only one. I wanted to believe her but you know. Some things just can't be fixed. We never had kids. Three years after the divorce I met my now wife, 38F, and we got married two years after dating. She's everything I could ever dream of in a wife and more. My ex, as my sister told me, they're still besties, never really recovered. She quit her job, and is now working in a church. Throughout my relationship with my wife, she kept trying to get back together, and, on the day of my wedding, she told me she still loved me, and would love no one else. She said this was the last time she would bother me, but that she'll wait for however long it took. Apparently she's honest in that regard at least cause my sister says she's never been with anyone since. So here's what happened recently. My wife and I, married for 7 years now, have 2 kids, 7 year female, and, 3 year male. My sister came over with her own kids, so the cousins could play. While my wife was out to pick up lunch, my sister sat me down, and told me the situation about my ex. Apparently, she only has less than 6 months to live. She refused treatment and wants, to live the last few months to the fullest. I guess that's why her, and my sister really went out of their way, to travel despite the pandemic. One thing on her bucket list though was, that she wanted to feel like my wife again. No s, no kissing, she just wanted me to be around the house, she still lives in the house we lived in, again, and maybe hold her from time to time. I told her I wouldn't do that, cause that was pretty much emotionally cheating. My sister kept arguing and begging me to at least see her, and hear her out. We kept arguing, no screaming, the kids were in the next room with her older daughter, till my wife came back. My sister told her the whole story, and while she looked upset, she said she understood where my ex was coming from. When my sister left, my wife and I talked about it. My wife knows everything that happened in the past with my ex. She says while she isn't thrilled about the idea, she won't get upset if I decided to see her on a regular basis. My wife is literally the best thing that ever happened to me, and I love her more than anyone. She makes me happier than I've ever been in my life, even in the good times with my ex. She knows I won't cheat. I also have zero romantic feelings for my ex, so there's nothing lingering there. I don't hate her or anything, it's just that the love I had for her has long since died. After thinking about it for a while, I'm honestly 50 over 50 about it. I know I don't owe her anything but I feel like I might regret not seeing her at least one more time, since the last time I saw her was on my wedding day and that wasn't a good encounter for either of us, unless you count the times I occasionally see her in the store or something. I honestly feel like, despite what she did, she still deserves to go with some peace. On the other hand, I'm not entirely sure if this might potentially affect our marriage. My wife says she's okay with it, and I believe her, but I just can't be sure that she'll feel the same way after it happens. I don't want anything to jeopardize what I have right now, no matter what. I'm not too thrilled about going myself to be honest. Any advice? What should I do? TL slash DR, ex-wife who cheated on me wants me around in the last few months of her life. Current wife is okay, but I don't want to risk anything. Edit, just wanna add that, if ever I do this, I won't be acting like a husband or anything inappropriate like that. Just gonna see her, and talk for a bit. My sister says that me just being there, and sharing a meal with her would be more than enough for her to feel, like we were married again.
Just my opinion. But I wouldn't do it. There's plenty of risk and little possible reward. If you want to show goodwill towards your ex, run errands for her. Or show support in some other way. Have a meal sometime with her. With your wife present. You don't owe anything to your ex. So these gestures are more than you are obliged to do. Imo this scheme would be playing with fire with regards to your current marriage. Do not do this. This has the potential to backfire and ruin your marriage. At the bare minimum put unneeded strain on it. I know your wife said that she will back whatever decision you choose. But trust me this will affect her negatively. Your ex-wife will be gone and you'll be left with this weird tension inside your marriage. Also, you have kids. How are you going to explain your absence to them? I would agree to meet up for coffee and have her get some closure about everything. Afterward discuss with your wife if continuing to get coffee and talking with her as a friend is a comfortable boundary for you both. You can be there for your ex-wife and keep your current wife your number one priority. This is a sad situation and I feel sorry for your ex-wife, but don't be willing to throw a wrench into your own happiness. I would honestly not do this. And I would not spend any time with your ex-wife beyond maybe a lunch or something. With your sister present. At most. I personally would not even do that. I understand you don't want to upset a dying person. But it's not worth risking your current marriage. I would not want my husband to be visiting an ex. And most certainly not in the context she's asking. And I don't think my husband would be thrilled. Either. If my ex asked me to do this. The unfortunate thing for your ex-wife is that she made this bed for herself. And now she's got to sleep in it. It's also a bit weird that she pined after you for a decade. If you're 50 over 50 about it and worried that it might affect your marriage I think that the choice is pretty obvious right there. Put your marriage and your future first. Your wife sounds like an angel. Please. Please. Please do not do this. The ex wants to play house with you. She made her choices. She didn't just cheat. She has a relationship with another person. Dying as a motherfucker. I have watched a few family members go through some painfully slow deaths. However, it didn't mean all of them were good people. You are not responsible for this woman's happiness. She should have moved on. Please. Please. Please do not play house with this woman. Your wife has made the choice to... She chose to be good to you and stand by your side. Maybe this doesn't affect her now, but it might later. Don't do this for the pain you might possibly cause your current wife. I'm begging you. I kind of think this is really bizarre. I'm also not sure why you would put your wife in this situation. This lady is an ex for a reason. Sure it is really sad that she is unhealthy, but what if it isn't the truth? What if it is an attempt to get you back, if it is real? I would absolutely not play into the husband fantasy, make a phone call and talk with her, and leave it at that. I think you are really considering the feelings of the wrong woman here. Sorry if this is a little forward but there shouldn't even be a decision. I just wanna remind you what happened last time she was your wife. Do you really think making her feel like the good old days after that kind of betrayal is worth it? Especially with the damage it could cause your current marriage? She says while she isn't thrilled about the idea, she won't get upset if I decided to see her on a regular basis. That means she doesn't want you to do it, but she doesn't want to be the one to tell you no. So if you don't care about your wife and children then by all means, go play husband with your cheating ex. But don't be surprised if you end up divorced later on and only see your children 50% of the time. Don't do it. Your wife is very kind and encouraging you to make your own choice. However, if you go, it comes across as choosing your ex over your wife. If you go, I think it will harm your self-marriage. Your ex has repeatedly tried to break you and your wife up. Your ex's request is completely inappropriate. Your ex has no claim or even friendship with you. She is single and alone due to her decisions and actions. These are the consequences. You don't owe your ex anything. You do owe your wife respect and putting your wife first. Don't visit your ex. Although your current wife is supportive, is it worth it to risk your marriage for your ex? I sympathize with her diagnosis, but her last wishes are going to cause nothing but potential problems for you later on. You have a wonderful relationship, 
Don't screw it up for a dying woman's fantasy. If you want to see her to have closure, make sure that you are not alone. Take your sister or your wife. This is such a tough situation. I'm sorry you're having to deal with this. What if you started with something smaller? Like, you meet her for coffee somewhere for a conversation. Before committing to anything, your wife could even go with you, if she wants, so that you can both better gauge the request. It may go a long ways towards making you both feel more comfortable making an actual decision. Do not do this. You'll ruin your current marriage. You've put your wife in a situation that impossible to win. She knows. If she forbids you to see your ex-wife, which is normal, and what's she supposed to do? Who sees their ex-wife and plays house? Anyway, she'll ruin any kind of relationship with her sister-in-law. If she agrees, she'll ruin any trust in you. Your wife is stunned that you would even ask this. She's your ex-wife for a reason. What if your wife wanted to go hug it out with her ex? How does that sound? You have children. What message does this send? Don't mean to be harsh. But even asking, it requires it. Good luck and hope you make the right decision. I think you should go, but only once, and as a friend, not as a husband. Having to play that role will be awkward, and it is frankly a weird request. I think that part is what gives you pause. Be upfront that you are fine talking about the past and reliving old memories, but that you're not going to take on the role you had in the past. I think your sister should be there too. I don't see how you would not visit a person you grew up with and that has always been in your life. Just because she cheated. If your ex truly loved and respected you, she wouldn't be asking for this selfish thing that would put a strain on your current marriage. I get that she's dying, but when I love someone, I still put their happiness first. I would rather die than ask for something that put the man I loved in a predicament, or stressed him out, or caused him problems down the road. I find her request rude to you. She could have asked for just a visit from you, or to meet for dinner, but she asked for this over the top thing. It's ridiculous and selfish. She says while she isn't thrilled about the idea fear done. Decision made. Your wife isn't happy with you going on a date, and it is a date with your ex that wants to play house. So you don't do it. You owe your ex nothing. She's mentally unwell and needs psychological treatment. Not someone feeding her delusions at the cost of their family. Do this. And you'll very likely end up divorced again. How and why is your twin sister still best friends with your ex-wife, who had a month-long affair on you?